So here's some of the free lumber and stuff that I've got for the chicken coop. Free plywood, a bunch of free decking material, uh, some uh, pressure treated 2x6s, some roofing material from a friend who was taken down his garage, some 4x4s, and here's the frame. This larger framed out portion was about five by 11, and I wanted to make it eight by 12 to take advantage of full sheets of plywood. So I had to do a little bit of scabbing and addition, but that'll give us a, an eight by 12 square foot on the, uh, on the floor space of the coop. And that is a roll of some linoleum flooring that was salvaged that we're gonna to use to line the floor of the coop to keep the uh, moisture at bay. So th this is the underside of the coop. We're gonna flip it over here in just a sec. All right, so we got the kind of the deck all done. Uh, it's eight by 12. Uh, two by six framing underneath. It's not leveled. Um, we just got it positioned. We're gonna put it on some uh, four by fours, get it about 18 inches up off the ground for uh, varmint or you know control and to give the chickens a shady place to uh, get under the under the coop. Uh, the the full-size door will be right here to walk up into the coop. It's gonna slope down to about waist high in the back. Uh, we're gonna have some clerestory windows up here with some solar panels on the roof. Uh, egg boxes here that are accessible from the outside. The run's gonna go from here down to the blackberries, over to the edge of the orchard over there, and come back. We're gonna have about three times, three or four times the recommended run for the number of chickens we're gonna have. I wanna give them plenty of space to roam since we can't uh, free range them, let them go wherever they want due to predators and neighbor dogs and stuff like that. So, and this pile of lumber here in the back is our old deck uh, off of our house. That's gonna be a new big uh, compost, a series of compost bins. And I'm going to build uh, another, like a little garden shed here under the cedar tree to catch rainwater for rain barrels. So, uh, did a bunch of tree trimming too. If there's any arborists watching, don't judge. But these, this oak tree had branches that, ha that uh, would hang down so low you couldn't walk underneath of it. So we trimmed them up to control uh, any potential climbing predators. Now they're about 25 feet off the ground and far too thin for anything to, to climb out and drop into the into the coop or the run so that's where it sits now tomorrow we're gonna try and get it get it up on its pilings get uh, walls and roof framed out so we'll be back used a couple of high lift jacks to get the deck up off the ground so we could put the pilings underneath Then we cut up a bunch of old roof rafters that we salvaged from a teardown. Use those for all the framing for the coop. Walls are framed, laying on the deck. And here I am putting some cross brace or angle bracing on all those uh, posts to stiffen up the deck structure. Cutting some sheathing and sheathing those walls. Tipping them up. Then we uh, made a kind of a dummy rafter and then laid that down, kind of found the angles we wanted and then laid all the other boards on top of it and used it as a template so they all matched perfectly and wrapped it up. Here's a quick walk around of the chicken coop. It's an eight foot by 12 foot interior floor space, about six feet of headroom. 
Nest boxes are going to be along this wall with windows there along the top all the way across. The nest boxes are going to be accessible from the outside so we can collect eggs without having to go in. Uh, that's going to be the human door inside the uh, run and then there's going to be a little chicken door right there and then this will be all fenced in about 25 feet by 25 feet just to start off with and I'll, I'm going to expand out from there. And then uh, so this is what will eventually be inside the run is where I'm standing right now and then this is the back side of the coop, the north facing side. I'm not going to have any for winter protection. I'm not going to have any windows here, but I'm going to put some kind of ridge or vents there along the top uh, for summertime to, to keep the air moving through. And this is going to be the main human door. And this north side here is going to be where all the roost bars go. A little chicken door right there, human door out into the end of the chicken yard. Nest boxes in each one of these stud bays with a bank of windows all the way across. I'm just going to make those out of Lexan and frame them in one by lumber. Nothing, not going to be anything fancy. Uh, screen them with hardware cloth to keep predators out. So it's coming along.